Alright, so we're checking out the only game where you get to obliterate record-breaking amounts of people in the most horrifying ways possible. It's People Playground. Obliterate people, damn it! This is a people, and today we're gonna make him very sad. So there's a bunch of updates to People Playground, and I have a feeling that we're going to be able to break records in the amounts of ways that individuals can die. One of the new things there is, is this fan on Twitter. I had learned some things from folks about how to make stuff even more ridiculous. But we need a baseline to start from. And so, let us see exactly what the fan actually does. Okay. The fan moves pretty goddamn fast. I'd like to take a moment to recognize that this one guy on his knees, this is like the slowest death in the entire universe. This is every single James Bond movie ever made. You now know my plan, Mr. Bond. The only difference is no one- <laughs> I was gonna say no one actually cares about you, so your life has no real value in the game. On a side note, he only lost a leg. So the fan's pretty good. What happens if you like drop a guy down from up here? Oh, he hovers in midair. Not today, Gray, you son of a bitch. Now I, I understand that what I'm about to do here is, is probably you know, too much of an elaborate way to go about killing someone when we could just blend them up with a bunch of blades, but that's kind of what we do here. All right, that should be pretty perfect. Take your little car here. You put something completely inappropriate on the front. Sweet Jesus, there's mini thrusters now too. Yeah, that, that, that'd probably work. Kind of put one, you know, right about like here, I would say few more over here. All right, I'd say the chances of this working are about 50-50. Now what you do, is you go ahead and activate all this ridiculousness, and then you watch the stupidity. Oh, that was a terrible idea. Sweet baby Jesus, what have I done? I got him! I don't even know if we would see the death, but I, I have to know. Go ahead and put some people in the sky here, because quite frankly, why not? Understand that, that death that we just saw before was in slow motion. <laughs> that makes me realize if you use a wire assembly, you can increase the power to anything. Someone on Twitter had done this to fire, but it looks like it works for everything. So does anyone think uh, any of the people are going to survive? Wow, I used a person to kill another person. I'd like it to be known that this guy here wasn't hit by the car. He was hit by the flaming debris of his brother. Ali unpaused for like half a second and the vehicle is already a mile away. <laughs> okay, knowing this, we need to screw these fans up real good. Okay, so before this fan made a person levitate in the air, what happens if you hook up like one battery to the fan? One generator. Okay, turn all this on. Okay. Uh, it's an electric fan now. I don't really know if it's moving like a ton faster than before. Luckily, we have a baseline, like I said, so we can put a person here and. <laughs> what? Where the hell did he go? He's legitimately gone. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. What happens if you put a person like inside of the blades, you know? Like, like that. That was a bad idea. Mm, people play ground. The only game where the last thing you'll see as a person is the bloody smear that's on the ground. Anyone go frame by frame on that in the video and see what the hell happened? Cause everything is gone. So it said that the electromagnet had its power increased too. Hold on. Oh God. Oh boy. Don't touch it. Otherwise you're gonna go flying. Oh no. <laughs> All right. We should be able to get this to happen. In fact, oh God, you know what? Why not? Honestly, you might as well go for broke, right? There's no reason to half-ass this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna like put some people, okay? Now hopefully the blades kill them before the lightning storm does. Put some people like this here. Then you take your swords and whatnot. And do this. Okay. Well, 
I don't know, hopefully this works. That right there is what I would call a success. Man, I'ma tell you, it's like a it's like a tidal wave of giblets over here. Oh god, it's just crushing people! I wonder if you can crush people with the wind from the the fans. Alright, here's the plan. We're gonna take a fan. We're gonna put it here. Actually, you know what? We're gonna take a bunch of fans. Okay, so you got your fans down here. Now if you take a fan, and you put it this way, and you can activate them while frozen. Perfect. The sterilization project. All right, now if you put a person in here, it should cancel out the force, I think. I was wrong. All right, now that I've frozen the ones down below, May have to increase the height. <laughs> Every once in a while, a giblet falls down from the sky. Oh, man. It's cloudy with a chance of organs. Oh, it's working. I've done it. So a person can levitate right in the middle of the two fans. Now what we need to do is increase the output of all these fans, like, you know, a million times. So what we're going to do here is take, say, oh, I don't know maybe 10 of these generators. All right, connect them all like this. Make sure this works. That's hot. Connect it to this. Then connect all these together like this. All right, and now we should have Satan's amount of output from the bottom. Go ahead and test this real quick with a willing test subject. Right there. Yep. That'll do it. All right, so now that should work up there. <laughs> all right. And now we try our test subject. Okay. A few things I hadn't thought about just happened there. I think we may have gone way past the amount of air pressure that this game allows. <laughs> I'm just gonna, the game's already broken. I'm just gonna put a couple more people in here because we can. So. How about a tank? What would happen if you put a tank in there? That's bad. Possible what we need is space. Okay, this time I'm gonna do the right thing and freeze everything. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, oh, I put those on the ground. What's the worst that could happen? Well, they could be used as railgun ammunition. All right, maybe this time we can get the guy inside without immediately blowing up. I was wrong. If you spawn them up here, will they get sucked down? They sure do. It, it like takes them a second before the air force catches up with them. It worked. We finally ripped a person apart with sheer air. Let me see if I can make it happen again. All right, let's just get a whole slew of individuals set up here. <laughs> okay, well part of that was possibly someone's head flying around. There it is. I'm pretty sure that since we can overpower everything with these generators, that means that we can take our original recipe and turn it into extra crispy. Put that there. This, as far as I know, you can use as many wires as you want. All right, let's try that. Oh yeah. Oh my God. This doesn't even have any weapons on it, but I'm really curious. All right, slow motion here. Now it is electrified. Oh. I just created the world's first torso firing railgun. One single human was used to kill all these other people. <laughs> human railgun. I'm sorry, I have to go even further with this. I think I might also just be able to connect these like this, and then maybe connect these like this. Here we go. Oh, oh yeah. I need to know how many people one person can kill. Like a quarter mile of people. Okay, if we get this far, I will be amazed. All right, buddy. You're my only hope. Make me proud. No way! It's like dominoes. Wait, it stopped. I, I, I think the death has stopped. Well, I mean, you know, the machine is still coming in. 
Oh no, I was wrong. Every person is filled with energy right now. And they're like transferring the energy to the rest of the bodies. Hold on. It's possible that this guy all the way at the end may survive. I mean, he, he may be okay. He's just resting right now. He's just laying down. Don't worry about the tidal wave of his family that's washing over him or how he is like French kissing the torso of one of his relatives. Oh. Well, I thought maybe he could have survived, but then the extra crispy roaster of people death came through. It's a cool fireworks show though. So since you can make everything ridiculous, I never really tried this. It's just like a plate that launches people. You put a person on it, you activate it, and there he goes. He goes flying through the air. However, does this mean that I can hook a generator up to this and it'll become stupid? If this works, I have a feeling I'm going to need a way to keep this crap on the ground. All right, so you put your person on here. You go, you go ahead and you grab all this and then you press the activate. I don't know, did we get more, did we get more distance? Oh wait, I see what went wrong. All right, put our boy there, activate. Okay, now it has the, <laughs> where the hell did he go? <laughs> One generator damn near sends this guy to the moon. I right, lost an arm in the process too. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Do this. All right, here's the plan. I wanna see if I can launch a person through the body of another person straight up. Here we go. Put our guy there. Activate. Go get him. Oh, you know, it wasn't that bad. It only killed the guy beneath him. Although as all these different bodies touch this, I have a feeling they're gonna start flying through the air. Ooh, this thing snaps closed too. Hold on. So if you can get like a body in here. What? Damn it, I just, just stay inside. <laughs> God, I broke it. We need to do something that goes beyond all levels of stupidity. I don't care how many of these I need. I want them all. Okay, I've already, I've already got the, the frame rate down to absolute garbage. All right, so now we just have to connect these clusters. I think you only have to connect them one time. Oh my God, I made a lot more of these than I thought. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so here's a thruster without all this extra energy. What happens if we connect the thruster? <laughs> Yeah, I'm assuming if you put a person here, it would be immediately evaporated. Yeah, you, you don't even, you barely get to see the humans. Okay, so if I grab this, the game's gonna barely be able to run. I copy this, I put it over here. <laughs> oh God, it's straight up too much. It won't even work. The game barely operates. I'm at two FPS. I don't care, we have to do this for Narnia. All right, so if you put a fan over here and put some fans over there, all right, we just make a couple more like this. Now we hook all this up. Now we activate this mess. Okay, time to put a purse in the middle of all this. Maybe like right about here, I would say. Yeah, simply being in the middle of this rips these people apart. <laughs> what if you use a car? Okay, the car kind of hovers in the middle. Okay, it doesn't know which way to go and then it gets thrusted out. Right, hold on, how about if we drop people in from like a good height like this? There we go. Okay, here comes the rain of people. Now, before they ever touch the ground, look at that. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> before they ever touch the ground, the air speed just shreds them apart. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of People Playground. Till the next time, stay foxy. <laughs> No sound anymore. <laughs> Much love.